looking for the perfect university. Dr. Khasun Dilshan is a proud graduate of the Vitebsk State Medical University from top 10 merit performers in the X16 examination. One of the major turning points in my life is actually like my second home. I stayed with the patients to take histories and they taught us Russian in the first three years in our university and always advise just go for it. A very good evening to everyone who is watching this video as today we interview one of I would say an extra special individual. If you are a student who is interested in becoming a medical doctor or if you are a parent looking for the perfect university for your son and daughter, well I believe this interview is going to be extra important for you. As today we have invited none other than Dr. Khasun Dilshan. Hello doctor, how are Hi. you? Good. <laughs> nice. So um, the reason why we say this particular individual, or rather Dr. Khasun, is extra important for us today is because of one very special reason. Dr. Kasan Dilshan is a proud graduate of the Vitebsk State Medical University from the Republic of Belarus. And he, um, I would say, I am honored to say that Dr. Kasan Dilshan is considered as one of the top 10 merit performers of the Sri Lanka's ERPM, or rather, we call it the X16 examination. So, this was the first attempt, I believe, right? Yes, and uh, what's uh, more prominent over here is that Dr. Kasun Dilshan was able to perform well itself in the first attempt. Doctor, how does it feel to be considered as Sri Lanka's best top 10 performers of the ERPM exam? Okay, so actually while preparing for the exam, I had no aim of being in the top 10 or to get a high merit. Okay. So just I, all I wanted to do was just do my best for this exam and just become a medical intern in Sri Lanka. So I was first shocked to see that I was in the first day and you know I'm happy I achieved it. Wonderful. Now you've studied at one of the prestigious universities in Belarus. We call it the Vitebsk State Medical University. How was Vitebsk State Medical University for you? Yes, I met there the teachers and you know everything there just molded me to the person I am today. So I made a lot of many friends, many memories, so it's actually like my second home. Yeah. That's wonderful to hear. Now, uh, you've given quite a bit of an insight to how Vitebsk has been your home mm -hmm. and how you made easily good friends. Mm -hmm. How would you say about the academics of the university and the lecturers that you met at okay, the college? So basically we had lectures, but not for all the subjects, but mm -hmm. for the main ones. So they were really helpful in studying for the daily classes because you know the main thing in studying in a university is it's mainly self-studying so you mm -hmm. don't know how to like to what depth to study and to what extent you must mm -hmm. study so lectures were like a guide to like they showed us this is what, exactly what they expect from us all right great so now um, there's one very specific question i want to ask you doctor mm -hmm. right now we get a lot of students who say they want to enter to a government university because uh, government universities give clinical trainings at government hospitals. How was the training, uh, how was the training that you got from okay. the government hospitals? So basically the clinical training actually starts from our fourth year. Okay. So there were like main hospitals for each main subject like for medicine, surgery, pedia, genomes and even oncology. There were separate hospitals and you know our teachers used to take us for these ward rounds where we learned to communicate with the patients to take histories and that is actually where we learned the practical aspect of medicine. Medicine, so, yeah. all right. So now um, we've also know about this general impact where if you do your clinical trainings, you have to learn the Russian language. Yes. How easy was the language for you? And what would you say to anybody who is watching yes, this video? So actually it was pretty tough for me in the beginning, but okay. they taught us Russian in the first three years in our university. And it was really helpful, as I said, because uh, after fourth year you start your clinical so to speak communicate with the patients you need to learn your Russian so teaching that in the first three years was really helpful helpful yes. all right um, this video could mm. be viewed by a potential medical student or a parent who wants to put their child into a medical university mm -hmm. uh, what would your recommendation be if at all you're going to recommend Vitebsk State Medical yes, University so I would definitely recommend my university for anyone who wants to do medicine because 
I'm sure it'll be a huge turning point in your life, like it did for me. Right. And what would be that one advice you would want to give a medical student? Okay. Uh, would you want them to go ahead with their passion? Or would you want them to do more research and get into university? What is that one advice you would want to give them? Okay, so if you have a passion for medicine and if you really want to do it, I would always advise just go for it because, you know, just one day you'll be happy thinking of the lives you've saved and that is a great thing. Exactly. So you'll be happy with reference to the lives that you get to save one particular day. And that comes from um, one of the top 10 merit performers of the ERPM examination and a proud graduate of Vidab State Medical University, Dr. Kasun Delshan. So thank you so much, Kasun, uh, Dr. Kasun, for joining with us. And if you are a past uh, Beaver College student, well, you can also speak to Dr. Kasun if you require any sort of assistance or stay in touch with us for more information. Thank you very much and wish you all the very best for thank your future, you. Doctor.